Ladies, how's it going? Um, just thought I'd drop you a really cool story <coughs> and uh, show you where I'm doing my steps. As you can see, can you see the moon? No, you can't. Um, so I had a very crazy day today. Spent about nine hours putting together IKEA flat packs, um, lots of f bombs, lots, lots of. There's no fucking part of this box, or. I don't know where that part is, or I spent about 20 minutes looking at one part of the thing, figuring out why it doesn't work, until somebody comes up to me and goes, there you go, left it in the box. So after eight hours of frustration, and not giving up, not giving up to put the stuff together, I got there in the end. And it just kind of reminded me of you guys when it comes to your healthy habits, when it comes to your goals, when it comes to your lack of progress, when it comes to uh, hitting any kind of roadblock whatsoever when it comes to your how you feel about your week or your lack of progress or your results or any of those kind of things is the willingness and eagerness to default into a sudden panic to give up or to quit or to give in when when things get too tough okay um i could have done that with my ikea flat pack furniture Okay, I could have paid somebody, which is actually an additional service in, in IKEA, to to deliver your uh, um, whatever it is you order, and then they put it together for you, which is like an extra fifty quid. Uh, for anyone out there, I would I would encourage you to definitely do that because unless you want to spend eight hours in your living room banging your fingers out of it with hammers and screws and just you know wishing you wouldn't be there and then the moment is on but I got there in the end anyway so what that tells you guys is <clears throat> made me realize is when the going gets tough um, you have a hundred percent chance of success by not giving up so I had a hundred percent chance by not giving up today even though I realized it took me the whole day to do it I eventually got there and when I put all the furniture together the sense of achievement and elation I felt in myself was fantastic I know I'm a man and everyone probably looks at me thinking, hey, well, you're a man, you should be doing that yourself. I did, but I didn't give up, okay? And when you guys, uh, let me do 180, when you guys experience any kind of roadblock, any kind of frustration, um, any kind of emotional reaction to the scale weight one day, or we had one day of bad eating, or you had to, whatever it was, you will have a 100% chance of failing and not getting results if you choose to give up okay and we're on this fine line in life where people are choosing to give up all the time without putting repetition and effort and consistency in so what you need to understand is I've, i see a very start stop approach with a lot of ladies for you guys just joining in now on our six week challenge repetition is pretty much the fruits of your labor you get what you're committed to the reps is in the work the reps is in the showing up the reps is in doing the daily basics day in day out as mundane as it can seem in the long scheme of things that's how you ingrain habits and this is where we speak about habits which is really interesting i want you to think about habits your bad habits or your habits that don't serve you compared to good habits okay and I like to think of them as it's a little bit of cognitive therapy for you therapists out there is if you think of it like a field of wheat um, for your um, let's say your brain right and your brain is made of this field of wheat kind of like that gladiator scene and it's like na, 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 na. And you're walking through with the hands there's pathways going through these fields of wheat okay and the ones that are let's say your bad habits are the most ingrained paths you are choosing to follow along in this field of wheat okay and let's say you want to change that habit that habit is oh eating in front of the telly every single night i need to stop that okay cool well it's very easy to walk down that ingrained um most trodden path in that field of wheat for your habits okay but the new path that you decide to take which is lots of wheat and you need to start walking through that can be tough at the start okay but it's that repetition of choosing to go down that pathway and replacing that habit with doing something else instead of sitting in front of the deli every single night that for me is a walk 
It could be learning a musical instrument. It could be reading a book. It could be picking up a new hobby. It could be doing some art. It could be whatever, listening to music, listening to a podcast, whatever. But as soon as you ingrain that new habit and that new pathway starts to form in your field of wheat, it becomes a new pathway from the repetition that you have chosen to build up uh, on that new path, okay? And it becomes a new path ingrained. And this is why how you need to approach all of your healthy habits. Think of it as a field of wheat with all of these different pathways. But the most trodden pathways are the easiest pathways. And they are the, the habits that we keep defaulting back to because they're comfortable. They're comfortable pathways to walk through because you're like, do, 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 I'm just going to come down here. But the healthy habits, the tough ones, the ones that are created by repetition, okay? The fruits of your labor are drawn from the habits you forge and the repetition and the consistency of the stuff. And once you start to feel better and you keep doing those and you keep repeating them, they become ingrained in your new way of living. And when you feel better, that kind of entices you to keep going, okay? And feelings at the end of the day are what going to drive you ladies far better than pretty much your reaction to most upsets during the week. Because if you can get back on track and not give up so quickly and not throw in the towel so abruptly and not slash your other three remaining tires every single time something happens during the week, you will become more aware and mindful of staying the course. Course correction. You know I've said this to you guys plenty of times when it comes to check-ins, okay? And this is why building on this consistency, this repetition, is so crucial for you guys. And I'm going to say it again. You have a 100% success of reaching your goals and reaching that progress by not giving up. Just think about that. But you also, likewise, paradoxically, have a 100% chance of not reaching your results or not reaching your goals every time you choose to give up. So don't be that person in your field of wheat walking around, walking down the easy paths, which are your habits that aren't serving you. Start to go for the paths that haven't yet been formed and you are starting to break through those paths and make them become more clear in your field of wheat so you reach your goals. Peace out.